And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Everyone loves this face app that ages you. I didn't. I I posted that shit of Ludacris and um, Ty, Tyrese. I was like, God damn, what happened to these dudes? This is, is this a joke? What's the face app? Well, it is this. Uh, it's been around for a couple of years, uh, but now it's gaining some steam again because people are uh, uploading photos themselves uh, because it ages you. That's one of their, their new filters, and everyone loves it. But the problem is... They're stealing your face shit? They're, they... I mean, it's not that unusual, but the app is based out of uh, Russia, and then so you agree to some crazy shit by downloading uh, this. What this are you app. agreeing to? Well, first of all, you uh, grant permission to have the app access your photo gallery. It also includes this, uh, let's see, terms of service thing where they have the right to modify, reproduce, publish any of the images you process through its AI, so they could just that, throw you up on a billboard one day. Use your name. Doesn't I think I think that's. Uh... Fucking Instagram has the same shit, don't they? I don't think it's that hardcore. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's invasive. Uh, I, half these like free apps, you're signing your fucking life away. Yeah. Um. It, they they were talking about the ten years later app. You, you know the one where you, you take the you you. It's it's basically you take a picture of you younger, and then ten years later, the then and now app. Like everybody was doing it on, and it was just. It was just a, they were using it to teach um, artificial intelligence how to do face recognition and and recognize aging and shit like that. Yeah. It's fucking... No, I guarantee that's happening here too, too at this one. Because they, they're going to sell all your photos, all your data, and I mean, who knows what they're shipping all that to shit. Russia. The, uh, that's what... That, that me remember I had the meeting with the 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 one app owners where celebrities give give like pep talks to people right and I refused to promote it because I felt like they were fucking over it, they they were taking twenty five percent cut I'm like my fucking like I got I got all types of listeners but like I got like a lot of blue collar dudes like for it to be worth my time like I the cut that you guys would take is ridiculous. I mean, I'm on there, but I will not promote it. You see, I won't name it. Like, it's fucking... It's like... And then what are they going to do? They're going to take all that information and they're going to sell it again. Like, it's like, come on, dude. We've seen this before. That's what they do. You, they take your info. They sell your fucking info. That's... That's that's part of having an app. True. But... They track you, all that shit. Not uh, against this, Russia, but it's chipping it over there, so you don't really know what's going on. I hear you. I no, I hear you. Yeah, Russia like a lot. But the, the thing is, is like you you think fucking Facebook's it's not selling your shit to uh, to Russia or China. They're selling it to whoever the fuck has money, man. I don't guarantee. care. Yeah, I guarantee you that there's countries that we're not cool with that Facebook has sold all of our information to. Nothing's free in this world. Now, of course, I've not downloaded the app, but uh, somebody sent me uh, some images of me aged, so I didn't have to actually risk my data. It does. So there I am. <laughs> Roxy Reynolds. That's a good one. I, yeah, you need to post that. That is awesome. Uh, where's another one? Uh, I think I'm just gonna look the same. I've, I've been I've been living so fucking hard. It'll just be like boom to boom. I'll be like, it'll just I'll just look like Keith Richards from Rolling Stones. Why don't we get somebody? Why don't we just, let's find a sucker and then have them do that? Oh <laughs> that's gonna be uh, they're that's pulling up photos off, of John, right. <laughs> and I'm like, that's fucking John. That's about right. He's like old, partially bald, <laughs> fucking Punched with the, over. the jowls are on point. The jowls are actually, it, you're a better looking old guy. You're, oh. The jowls are because the jowls are dropping, and what it's doing is making your chin look like you got a, a fuller chin. <laughs> you got the chin like the dude from Planet of the Apes in the in the sixties. Oh. I forgot his name. The guy that liked all the guns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's his, I don't even know. What the fuck. I'm 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 sleepless again. I'm stupid, y'all. So hey, <laughs> forgive me.
Charlton. Charles and Heston. <laughs> I'm not high. I'm just sleep deprived. You know, hours of sleep I've had since this weekend. Not many. Eight. Eight. What's going on with that? I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's crazy. Whatever. Hopefully, this is just a temporary thing. Yeah. Ups and downs of life. That's it. That's it. Um, tell me something else. All right. So before I fall asleep. You now, Netflix. They've decided to edit out this scene in this show that I've never watched. Thirteen Reasons Why. Thirteen Reasons Why was this whole thing about why I killed myself. Right. Did you watch that? No, it sounds no. stupid. <laughs> I know, it it's like terrible. For, it's like for teenagers. And shit like that, to me, that shit like spikes. Like, to me, that encourages teenage fucking, uh, teenage suicide. Well, that seems, what did they what, take out of it? What was the scene? Well, the, the scene itself. Um, so it is, uh, let's see, the last, it was the season. How'd she do it? Well, I can show you. The old, the old wrist slit. Is, you can't find it on Netflix anymore. Up and down. That's how, that's how that's how you get that's how it goes up and down. All right, she's looking at herself. All right, but so I found this on some sketchy Russian website. So yo, I'm not even trying to clown, but she looked like Jack White from the White Stripes. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the OG shit. Yeah, this is the original one. She's running the warm water to help that blood flow. Залезла в ванну. Не снимая одежды. Вскрыла вены. И стекла кровь. Raise your hand if you've ever cried and just watch yourself in the mirror cry because that's what she was doing. Yeah, I think so. You yeah. have? <laughs> oh, what have I done? And then you just watch yourself cry and shit. <laughs> it's so fucking like narcissistic. All right, go ahead. Let's see. Let's see her. She's in. She's in the tub wearing a t-shirt because she's like, I don't want to be found butt naked. Oh. I hate watching that shit. I know. It's terrible. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, oh man. That's that shit I don't like. Oh, Jesus. Jack White in the bathtub. That's that shit I don't like. All right, man, get rid of it. Stop yeah, it. Stop yeah, it. Stop it. So they're cutting it. They, so they cut it out. It's out. You still find it in Russian, though. I know. I that one is like um, it's like shutting the gate after the after the cows got out of yeah. the barn. It's two years ago. Yeah, the shit's two years ago. It's had its fucking. It's come. It's gone. But it just shows you how the political climate keeps changing. Netflix, which has fancied themselves as being pretty progressive, uh, ran this. And that was fine. And now two two years two years later, they have to they're editing editing out their own shit. Cause that was one of those like that shit just dropped on Netflix. I was like, yeah, fucking nuts. So they cut it out. Now what's the scene? She just looks in the mirror and hops in the tub, and then yeah, she goes. I believe it's just her looking into the mirror. So they're just saying, look, man, hey, artistically. Real talk, a lot of times, like, I don't need to see, I don't, like, I don't need to see someone slit their wrist. Sometimes they can just in, imply what they're about to do or what they're doing, and I'm fine with that. Like, I, I don't need to see the fucking razor just going real slow, going yeah. down. Yeah, I turned it off yesterday. Keenan was, oh, let me see that. To, and also, like, to be quite frank, sometimes I think it's better art that way. Like, it's just, it's just... It, it's it's just better art. It allows the viewer to use their imagination about what's going down. Like, you don't need to show me fucking everything. Yeah, to talk about what it's you... It's like were... the strip club. I don't like it when they... 
I don't like the fucking the pussy out strip clubs. Like, wear some panties. Let me imagine something. Really? Full nude, man. I fucking Double hate horns. that shit. Right. What What do you do at a fucking <laughs> full nude? You're like, hey, do you take a bus pass? I got $7 left on this pass. I know some lady walks up and usually just uh, siphons a bunch of money out of me. You do a uh, half. We do. We do get. We do a half of this Nickelback song. <laughs> and to find like a fifteen dollar Red Bull for a fucking yeah. Well, you buy me. A, that was <laughs> deja vu. All nude. You were not. You you were not allowed to drink. And the girls were always asking, "Oh, okay, let me get a drink." Like what a fucking racket, dude. Terrible. Whatever. That's it. You go to the strip club. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to have like a camera follow John for like a week, and then just cut it. I just give me the best parts. There's a club not too far. A lot of getting spit on by fucking teenagers on the bus, <laughs> and then like going to strip clubs. And what's the strip club you go to? Cheetahs or, or wait, not I, Cheetahs. I can't think of the name of it. Is it on La Brea? Yeah, there's one over by the by the like Hollywood High or something. Yeah, that there's Highland there, and. Like there's one that's like La Brea and Sunset that I used to go to a lot of Russian chicks, yeah. and then there's a there was another one on Sunset. But I didn't like that shit because I was used to Detroit strip clubs, and back in the day, Detroit was ten dollars. Flint, some of the Flint were five dollars. Here it's like twenty twenty five easy to get. Dude, in. I remember What's the up? first time I went to the fucking strip club at uh, LLTs on Saginaw. I don't know what they're doing anymore, but like. I had fifty dollars, and it was like I was. It, it was like I was like one of those Arab motherfuckers that owns an oil field or some shit like that. <laughs> I had two girls on me. One chick was jerking me off. I ended up getting kicked off because apparently that's frowned upon. But like it was fucking nuts. Yeah, I'm not paying twenty bucks for some fucking yeah, lap dances yeah. are insanely expensive. Yeah. No. Nah. Shout out to all the strippers out there. Get your money. But most strippers know that uh, the money is in talking talking to the motherfucker. They talk they talk you out. Your, good strippers will talk you out your dough. Absolutely. Yeah, they I, mean, just, I can feel it happen. Yeah, they just sit down there, spit game, da da da. They, they they get customers. Oh, that's my or clients. Yeah, there was one lady that sat with me for a bit and then she actually said, "Okay, uh how about a tip? I'm like, really? For like 10 minutes? I mean, all right. I don't, I don't mean to seem cheap, but then no, suddenly- No, I get it. Yo, I- like, Really? And suddenly I ended up like giving like 40 bucks or something stupid. Yeah, you got to be real like, I'm, I, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah. All right. Anyway, give me another one. All right, so- the bagel, Shout out to Netflix. Bagel Boss, man. Chris Morgan. The one everybody's all upset about. Our new friend. Don't make him famous. <laughs> don't worry, he's not a fucking- He's not a he's not a hot fifteen year old with big tits that you fucking weird petter ass follow all the time talking about bad baby. I won't do it. Like it's fucking gross, dog. It's like yo, man, she's a fucking she's a child, man. Underage as fuck. Oh, following bad baby, catch me outside. Oh, all right, let's see. Signs a deal to fight other viral st stars ringside meltdown this fall. Yeah, so he's got this deal going with his promoter, so he's going to fight uh, all, all takers uh, coming up at some point in the near future. Now, the promoter says there's a possibility he would fight that guy, Antoine Dodson. Remember him? Which one is that? Oh, that's a real ugly one? No, the, the guy with the, the afro and oh, uh, no, the, no. the home intruder back in 2010. Who's the ugly one with the weird teeth? That was like with the catch phrase, like you got played or some. You, you know the one I'm. I don't remember that one. Probably saw it. But. My sister took a picture with him at fucking. Oh, Antoine Dodson, him versus Ant Antoine's gonna fucking put hands all over this motherfucker. Well, Morgan. He's gay from the hood. He got to be able to fight a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't fight Antoine. Nah. Yo, he's going to fucking just stay, stand outside and jab this fucking dude to death. But Morgan is saying, I'm just naturally tough. I'll whoop his ass. They need to do, like, MMA-style shit so he can rush him and tackle. And there's no there's no way he's going to do it. it. Is he talking shit? Does Is it entertaining? 
Uh, no, I don't have anything right. like that. Um, I mean, the promoters. Let's see, what was he saying here? Whatever, know. it doesn't yeah. fucking matter. It's, that's what y'all was. Yeah, that's that's what you guys were worried about. Fucking this. He's doing it himself. I know. He's really pumping it. I know. Good. Hey, yo, he he saw he saw a spot he's going for. All those motherfuckers. This is this is the fucking generation of the troll. And he trolls and is a literal troll. What? Like he's small and lives under a bridge <laughs> in his van. All right, give me something else. All right, we talked recently about Whitney Houston's estate, talking about going on a hologram tour, and oh. that is pushing forward. So they're oh. saying here this this company, Base Hologram, they're launching the Whitney Houston tour in 2020. It's happening. Let her fucking just be dead, dude. Well, if you remember that quote from that New York Times piece, Pat Houston, um, she is, uh, let's see. She's, she is broke and you're going to be using this to fucking get money that she didn't earn from her daughter who fucking died. Because she had drug issues because she was molested by her auntie. Well, Pat, the former sister-in-law and former manager, said it's been quite emotional for the past seven years, but now it's all about being strategic. I'm going to get that money. Yeah. They're like, fuck getting another job. We're going to eat off of, we're going to ride Whitney's corpse into the fucking dirt until, until, th that's what this shit's going to be. It's just going to be all these dead people going on tour and shit. Who the fuck wants to see that? I don't. But clearly somebody does. I'm totally against that shit. And especially for somebody that, like, that committed suicide, man. Like, clearly she was troubled and going through some shit. So they're like, you know what we should do? Let's make a fucking hologram out of her ass. And make her say things that she didn't say. And then make money off of her. Then we dropping a Whitney, a Whitney Houston fucking iced tea pretty soon. Yeah. Whitney Houston fucking designer pumps. They be, they're fucking awful, man. Jukebox. All fucking full. That's all I got to say about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one really looked that good. This is the Which company. one didn't look that good? I don't know. Good. This, this is the company's attended Roy Orbison. Oh. Uh, I mean. Okay, I'm watching. And they're playing. They. Hey, pause. That's fucking. One, I'm not a big fan of Roy Orbison. Um, and two, that's just like. Like I said. Not. All that is, a high-tech sock puppet that they're fucking charging people to go see. Throwing on the fucking CD. Yeah, there you go, boom. And they had the nerve to put, like, add some fucking orchestra behind them and shit. To, trying to class it up. <laughs> All the violins in the world isn't going to class up the exploitation of fucking dead people. Dead celebs. Well, that's that's where it's going. That's the future. I'm I I am the minority on that shit. I don't think so. How do you? Well, I mean, okay, forgive me. In the in the article, they talk about uh, a bunch of shows. I mean, people loved it. Uh, let's see, Rolling Stone instead of a Zappa one. The whole thing got a standing ovation. Like I said, I'm the min <laughs> minority. I think it's fucking bullshit. And Frank Zappa, of all people. Would would have hated this. What's up with his family? What are they doing? Wow. They're fucking yeah. That's it. Moon Unit isn't on MTV anymore. She ain't got the. Is that was that the Dweezil in them? <laughs> they they ran out of dough. Now they're pimping out their fucking father. Who would have hated this shit? You should you should you should listen to his interviews. He's actually uh he's actually quite a deep thinker and. Uh, was really one against the grain and had cogent arguments to back up what the fuck he was saying. I think cogent means like good. I'll just say that. I'll support that. We're gonna try. To, we're trying to new, learn new words here at the All Out Show. 
says it's clear, logical, and convincing. Like, yep, cogent motherfucking arguments. Go ahead. What else? So, if you're out there hunting, many people do. Yep. I would not pose with the animal. That seems to be a bad idea. If it's a deer, you're good. Yes. Oh, these motherfuckers are posing with a dead lion? Idiots. I mean, uh, gee, what's going to happen? All that backlash and shit. Yeah. Uh, Darren and Carolyn Carter, they're out of Canada. They, of course, recently gained some attention because they were kissing atop a dead lion that they'd killed during a trophy hunt. And this hunt, this is in a closed environment, so they just went there and like, oh, look, there's an animal. Kill it. So it's just kind of like the... It's just they of, they so wait hold up they they didn't even like this wasn't even a safari or no shit I mean in a very loose sense but I mean the animal like they didn't, has to be there and then it has to die they didn't fucking they didn't pay native motherfuckers to do this shit yeah they they paid this company at um, a South African company that specializes in trophy hunting packages for British customers here's the deal I'm not I'm not totally uh, educated on on all of the hunting. But a lot of these people, what they do is they bid. They they, they actually have auctions. They'll be like, all right, uh, who wants to hunt a, a rhino? And they'll have an auction. And, like, that shit will go up to, like, 300 grand or some shit like that. And then the, a portion, I don't know how much, a portion of the proceeds actually goes to wildlife conservation. And the other thing is, is... um. Like the rhino that they're going to kill. What happens with r rhinos when they get old. They're uh, they become more aggressive and possessive of the female rhinos. And the they will kill and they and they can't knock them up no more. So the rhinos can't this dude can't help them reproduce and he'll actually kill the young rhinos that can actually bust nuts. So, so this whole thing is a bit more nuanced than a lot of people would like to give it, give give credit for. Am I gonna go out there and go fucking shoot a lion? Nah, not my thing. And uh, and I'm definitely not kissing on top of it. But yo, this I don't know if you remember this shit. Here, turn me up. This is this was the class. Oh, that's how I, Oh, I, I got fucking. Here, maybe this is it. Oh, man. This is on YouTube. No, I need a like. Uh, did we get it? I don't know, man. No, it's 17. Uh, oh, it's 17.11.07. Right, oh, uh, this one. Wait, turn it up. Hang on. Here we go. This is it. Wait, wait. We got, you got to go back. We need the shot. All right. So here's the setup. And this was very disturbing. And it's going to, if if you're like an animal lover, this one's going to bum you out. You got to. <laughs> Boom! Shot. Bear, bear fall. That, that was it falling out of a tree. Now, now the chick is poking it with the gun. Like, yeah. Oh no! And the close up of a dead bear just laying there. Now, doggy style. Turn it up. What the fuck? Mm. Give it a tour. Look at this. Shake that bear. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's fucked that's, up. That's fucked up. That and and fucked the lion up. shit is fucked up, too. But, yo, to be fair, I don't know where it happened. And I don't live in Africa. So, like, maybe, like, you some... What if you just some African chilling, like, out, like, in some, like, little small town out in the woods. And, like, lions just keep coming up, fucking shit up. South African company. Yeah. Legella Safari? Yeah, I bet you it's a fucking, like... A big ass fencing area where they keep animals, and you go out and fucking yeah. kill them. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, confined. That's rough. That yeah, it's fucked up. 
That's not even like back in like the fucking 1700s or some shit. And dudes would just go out there and fucking shoot a fucking animal. Sidebar shit. Um, teddy bear. You know, like teddy bear came from Teddy Roosevelt. Right. And uh, he, he was like a hunter. And like there was some like sick ass bear. And he wouldn't kill it because he was like, man, come on, man. It's too fucking easy. So they, that's they started to call him Teddy's Bears. I remember that Teddy's Bear, and then that, boom, there. Now everybody has Teddy Bears. I think I think they end up killing the fucking thing anyway. He just didn't keep it. Anyway, Cliff. Hey, I'm Cliff Clavin here with uh fucking useless facts. You have some gems. <laughs> just, just pulling them out of my pocket for y'all cats. Go, what else we got? I've got some good news for you. After that. All right, go ahead. Let's see good news. And now, time for good news. Got a couple of sisters here. Zaria and Haley Willard from Dover, Delaware. All right. They're sharing their love for books with kids across the, the world by hosting a live bedtime story session every night on social media. That's fucking smart. They're going to cake up. Oh, they're ca- they're going to fucking get rich off of this shit. You know, the, the two share on their... Uh, well, I mean, they, they read every night. If you want to hear the, the, one of the sisters, yeah, Haley Willard. What's she's the, do you smart. know the story she's reading? You know, the, I'd have to rewind it. Uh, it's a kid's book. What does it matter? Go ahead, just I'll go play. To the top if you want. She will go let him go. Flynn says yes. Rapunzel leaves the tower. Rapunzel. Mother Gothel cannot find Rapunzel. She thinks Flynn kidnapped her. Mother Gothel is angry. She's decent. She she actually sounds like me at my Rapunzel readings. goes to a pub. She makes a new friend. She I'm likes good on that. The- yeah. well. Rapunzel's the one with the long ass hair. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. I'm telling you guys. You need to, uh, you can follow them, uh, Zariah Haley, and Zariah is spelled without an H, but Haley is spelled H-A-I-L-E-Y, there you go. Yeah, so it's Zariah X Haley, I guess. Oh, Zariah times, oh, Zariah X Haley, thanks. Yeah, yeah that's cool, man. Yeah. Hit them up, send them, send them a copy of, uh, Harmon Bird and Hyena. Yeah, have them read it to the kids. <laughs> Shit's real. <laughs> real talk, y'all, I'm telling you, man. Just go on Amazon and buy the original. Get the OG Grimm's fairy tales. It's going to change the whole way you look at kids' stories. I promise you. Savage. That's the news.